it's Rhonda. I'm back with another video. This is a continuation of some yard sale uh, haul that we made last weekend, my daughter and I. She drove this time, and so uh, we filled up her Dodge Journey with a lot of good stuff. Um, some of it is in another video. It uh, goes over one that we got referred to by our friend Janice, and then also went to an estate sale that was like a second part of an estate sale. Um, that we had been to about six weeks ago or so. These are just random pickups that we made uh, in between those two sales and then one other one that I'll probably have in a third video on this. We had a really good day. It was nice weather. It wasn't too hot until real late afternoon. And so we had a good day that we could get out. Um, here in the Delta, it can get quite humid. <laughs> so it was a really good weekend to go, and uh, we enjoyed it. We actually did not intend on going to yard sales. We're both um, snowed under with some of our death piles, so we're trying to get that listed. We're trying to get some auction videos set up to start on YouTube and, well, actually on, on Facebook Live first, and then we'll probably switch over to um the platform on YouTube at some point in time, so be looking for those in the future. Hopefully that'll happen soon, but we've been busy with those kind of things and uh, had a couple other little uh, events, you know, that happened in our family like all families do, so we haven't been able to get to much of our death piles, so we're trying to work on that and stay away from the yard sales, but it didn't work last weekend, so these are some things. I'll try and go through them pretty quickly so that this video is not extremely long, but um, one is a set of magnets that I got from a, another yard sale as we were going around, um, but some of these first things, I found it um, just some little items, whatever. Um, for a quarter, I got some of the Joe Cool Camel cards. They haven't been opened, but they are going to be sold as used because they've got a little damage to the package or whatever. Um, these are ones that I, I may set, try and sell like this. Or I've got some lighters um, that I haven't listed that are the actual vintage lighters, and I may throw that in that lot. Lady also had this. She had a dollar on it and ended up taking 50 cents on it. But this, um, these are actually uh, really cool. I've got some of the little pieces where I can repair this on the back. Um, but it had some jewelry inside. I don't have the jewelry with me, but I did find a little bit of sterling silver and it was in there. So um, she sold it right with the jewelry box. So I took that. Also just a couple of little pieces. This kind of went with this, but it doesn't really go with it. So, um, I bought this for a quarter. This is one of the Swan's Down cake flower measuring cups. Little cute one. Of course, it's got the little spout and things. I may end up keeping that in my kitchen or not. I'm not, I've got a lot of little stuff in there, but I'm not one to collect a whole lot of stuff like that. I'd rather go on and sell something. I've got a lot that I'm working on that has like some old time cookie cutters, the metal and you know some little pieces like this so I may end up doing that in a lot. I also found this and I can't quite make out what it says. I'll have to kind of work on it a little bit but this is one of the little sewing kits. Anytime that you see something like this if you uh, go to any yard sales it usually has a promo uh, on the outside and then you'll find needles and things like that on the inside. It's a needle pin holder. And that was a quarter. The lady also had this, which I'll just throw in with some of my other postcards. Um, this one is from, it says, Greetings from San Diego, California. And, of course, this is the fold-out type, fold-out style is what I started to say. Uh, it's got the House of Hospitality, Spanish Village Art Center, Armory, you know, things like that. So, those are kind of cool. Sometimes I put them into a general lot, depending on how old they are. And then if it's something that's a standalone, I'll try and sell that. But Balboa Park is what that's from. She had that. That was a quarter. And I'm trying out my new microphone. I have not loaded any software to enhance the sound. So, hopefully it's better than it was just coming from the webcam. But... Um, that's something I'm going to have to work on over time. She also had this. Um, it doesn't ha it's not all of its parts, but I went on and bought this. This is a belt buckle. It's made by Mattel, and it's the Remington Derringer. And this actually, I've got 
nails so I don't mess with it. <laughs> I get my son-in-law or somebody to pop that out. But this actually will release and this little gun pops out. So that's kind of a cool little thing. But I thought that that might sell, you know, just as a standalone vintage piece. Then we went to a sale that we um, always go to the first Saturday of the month. It's people that we just happened up on probably maybe four or five months ago, something like that. They clean out homes for banks and um, have different situations like that, but primarily probably 75% of their business is cleaning out for some of the local banks um, when the homes have been foreclosed on or they've just bought out the property or something like that. And they take all of this um, stuff, you know, they get paid to actually clear out the house and then they take all of these items and they'll trash out anything that's truly trash, just like I would, you know, when I was liquidating homes and things like that. Um, you'll send the trash to the dump, you know, or put it in the uh, dumpsters at the road or whatever, you know, is available to you at the time, depending on the situation. And then the rest of it they take to two outbuildings and a really large tractor trailer um, that is on their property out in um, the kind of, not quite the county of Mississippi, it's in Horn Lake, Mississippi. And we end up, um, we ended up coming up on them, very nice people, good old country folk and they uh, sell this stuff for just like pennies on the dollar because they don't have anything in it they got paid to take it out of there and I bought some really great stuff and Samantha has too we don't always buy volume of stuff there but we always find something there so we always make a point of going there but these are just a few things that I found it's not anything really stellar like I found a lot of stuff you know that I've really turned for good money but these are decent enough you know and, and of course I didn't spend, but I think five bucks or something like that, or seven bucks, something like that. Um, found this little porcelain doll. She's got her original clothing, little porcelain face and hands. And she's in fairly good shape. I found her. I also sell a lot of these miniature perfumes. It doesn't matter really what the scent is. The people are buying it for the bottle more than anything. This one is a not for sale. It was a sampler. Um, dear hostess, thank you. You know, it was something by maybe Premier. I don't know. I'll look it up. This right here, and you just, some of these are prices from the house that they actually liquidated because these are not their prices. They just price it as they go. Found one of the Marvel. Um, this one is actually a Hot Wheels, and let's see if it has a date. Are you dated? Mm, I don't really readily see anything, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, it does look older. It's it's you know shelf worn and things like that, but stuff like that sells. So I did pick that up. This has a chip or two in it, but it's got the little log like this, and then I've got two owls that sit on top. It's the salt and pepper shaker set. And my daughter and I, <laughs> my daughter and I went to yard sales two weeks ago, and we just went through all of this big box of salt and pepper shaker sets. So she was asking me, "Why are you picking up any? We just bought 108 sets." And I'm like, "Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know. I can't even figure my own self out." Um, but this, you know, I mean, you're looking at a dollar on something like this, and I think both of them, yeah, they both have the plugs. In the bottom so those are kind of cute let's see I've got so much junk in our trunk that I can't find any place to put anything let's see if I can do that and not knock it over and add more chips I found two of these I will sell just they they do come this one these are um, it was it Whitman's no Russell Stover boxes but these are some of the collector boxes it's not anything that's a tremendous amount of money, but it does have card sets inside as well. Um, we have like Texas Hold'em instructions. These are brand new packs of the bicycle cards. I also, <laughs> you'll hear my daughter, I mean my granddaughter vacuuming. She's cleaning my little bungalow for me today. So you might hear her. Sometimes I tell them I'm making a video and they don't realize that you get some feedback but it's not very much um, these are read them and weep 
those were down in there it's got the pack and then you've got your actually the read them and weep cards that are in there those are kind of cool I'll probably sell those just as a standalone the other ones I don't know um, some of the bicycle cards some of these packs you know now this has the barcode on the bottom so um, but some of these are uh, I, that I get are quite old and so I sell those outright you know as single packs and sometimes as double packs or something like that something like these a lot of times I'll go on and open these up if it's not going to be anything that sells for like five dollars or more or something like that I'm not going to fool with doing a listing on eBay for just a single pack of cards like that and I will just add those in with like an ephemera lot and um, do some of my junk drawer lots and throw a few of those in there it's just it's something that kind of is like adding a coat of paint to something you know it, it just makes it look a little more attractive and a little more interesting so I've got one of those and then this is the other one that I found they had both of those there so she had 50 cents on it or no a dollar on this one and then it's got cards in it as well I don't think it has anything but yeah it's just the bicycle cards and some are open and some are not I got, I went on and picked him up. He was a little interesting. He moves, he's jointed the legs and things. Um, he may end up in a lot as well. Then again, you never know. He may sell as a standalone. So, got that. And then the last three items that I got were these. This was Jeff Gordon, restricted area, fans only. And those. Um, there were two or three of these, you know, different ones, different uh, drivers and things like that, NASCAR drivers. But I had Jeff Gordon, but those were listed online, and they did pretty well, you know, considering what it was. Um, she had, was it a dollar a piece? Yeah, dollar a piece on these, and she ended up giving us a bundle price. So, um, but Jeff Gordon, and well, I guess he goes that way, doesn't he? And who's this one? Rusty Wallace and Mark Martin. So I had those three. And I think I ended up spending, let me think for just a minute. I think I ended up spending, like I said, about $7 altogether. May have been 8 Then, let me put these up because I'll be wrangling them around. I don't wrangle very well. We had a lot of fun that day, though. That was, uh, it's always nice to go with my daughter, and that's something that we can do together. And my son in law stays home with the uh, other, the four children <laughs> from age, let me see, from age uh, two to 13. And they do things together. Sometimes he'll grab them up and he'll take them to the farmer's market or something like that while we're gone. And so my daughter can come home and she'll have fresh vegetables that she can cook the rest of the weekend or whatever. So everybody kind of hangs around and does what they want to do. And we go so early that we usually will get back by about noon. Every once in a while, it'll get to be about 3 o'clock. I think that day, last weekend, I believe we got back around noon if I remember right. Um, one other sale that I ran into, there was a lot of these sitting there, but the lady, really nice lady, um, very sweet and all of that, but apparently she sold on eBay and all of this, and she was reducing some of her uh, stock and all of that, and she kept insisting, you know, that this was worth a lot more than, the, you know, this, that, and the other, you know, how that goes. It's only worth what somebody's willing to pay for it. That's, you know, how it is. And me, as a reseller, I always make my money on the buy. I don't make it on the sale. So, you know, I have to get things at a certain price. And she knows that. You know, she was very nice. Um, she had some of these magnets. This is a bag of magnets that I got from her. I paid $20. As it turned out, I paid $20 for the whole thing. Um, the reason that I paid for these, now these are, you know, kind of long tail on some of these. It depends on what they are. She had one lady that had already come in and bought a whole bunch of the Coke ones, which I was not interested in. That lady was probably buying them for herself. Um, Coke items, depending on what they are, are real slow, you know, for me. And that's just my experience. But um, these I bought 
because a lot of them were the Acme ones and they the Acme in, uh, International and they're going to be from like the late 90s <clears throat> excuse me dusty um, late 90s but uh, I'll just show you these real quickly and we'll just go through them but I got all of these for $20 um, I guess that goes that way but like I said I mean 90% of these are Acme company so it has all the little old-fashioned um, can opener and stuff like that and like I said she had 50 cents on some of them she had that's a dishwasher she had 75 cents on other ones don't know why they look to me like they'd be about the same price but had some things like the condiments and I pulled out probably I'm thinking about five or six that kind of went with my hippie vibe and so those were in here as well but um, taster's choice you know these are things that whether they sell or not I add them to my store I take the time because you take one photo this way one photo this way and then I take one next to a ruler you know I just set a, I set it up and I just set a ruler up beside it and you know, this way one way <laughs> and I just show you know how how large it is so that somebody would know you know in case it was a certain area that they were wanting to put it in or something like that most people you know they got a conglomeration of them anyway they have no rhyme or reason to it um but these type of things they do sell that's cute with the little ringer um they do sell they do sell over time you know sometimes people get in there and want to buy one but they'll buy two or three of them if they're kind of like the same type of things like those um, they'll do something like that but what what i do is i look at it as that it's kind of coating my store a little bit i've got some higher items and things like that but these are things that draw people into my store and then they see that it's mostly vintage stuff and they start looking through my store so it's just kind of some bread and butter little computer isn't that cool oh this way <laughs> which way does it go <laughs> little floppies on top that's funny um little sink this one is a sound camera so it's got a place probably this is a 1998 it's probably got like one of the little watch batteries or something in the back and it probably makes a flash sound or something like that I would think a couple of Dunkin Donut ones I think there's another one down in here that's a different shape a little toaster Oop. keep showing you the magnet side a little toaster with the toast world's smallest laptop it says on the top I thought this was cute I may end up grabbing that that looks like my kitchen grater oh, this was cute I thought and I just went through them and I just picked out certain ones you know because they appealed to me if I if I liked it right away I threw it in my bag got one of the chiclets eggs and a grill because you have to have something up there for the guys I thought this was cute let's see what it says in there this one has a little measuring cup in it and the little towels or blankets or whatever and laundry detergent it's a little laundry basket Shop till you drop. I may do something that I do kind of a click like that, and that would be a really good thumbnail for this, wouldn't it? Might be a good thumbnail for our auction videos. Here's my other Dunkin' Donuts. It's a little faded, but I'll probably put those together. Let's see. This one probably, yeah, this one has a sound box in it as well, so it probably goes, oh no! Or, <laughs> yeah. Little rotary fan. You know, all the things that 
I sell that are real. <laughs> 55 smiles per hour. I may end up keeping that because that's kind of like this other one. This is that. Oh, they're all sticking. Sticking together. At least the magnets work right. One way to describe mom's delicious cooking. <laughs> that's cute. And then the smiles one. Little iron. Uh, this one's a deluxe mixer. Cool old boom box. And this one, I bet this has sound too. It sounds like something's inside. We'll have to see what that is. And see like the old price on here. Now this came from Bed Bath & Beyond. This was not one of the Acme ones that I know of. Let me look. Yeah. Well, no, this was Acme. 19... 98 so you know and those are china and all of that but they are vintage so i can sell them on etsy or ebay or both treadmill <laughs> that's the kind i can do right there coffee maker that moves so yeah that's probably removable i don't know I know it'll turn. Two more. Little ironing board. And that's but not least. A mixer missing a magnet, but I've got one down in here. So <laughs> a little mixer. And I didn't find a bowl that matched this, and of course it's a hand mixer, so that's all of those so that's what we got at another little section of our sales so that's all for this video today be watching for a third video i've got another box of stuff that we got where did we get that hmm. oh we ran up on a um an estate clean out the lady's uh grandmother had passed away and i saw a mutual friend post for them they apparently are not on Facebook or whatever but she did a post for them and I thought it was her sale and then I got to looking at it and it was for a friend of hers and the grandmother had passed away and so they were cleaning out an old house that's in Hernando Mississippi and so we came up on that estate sale and they were selling things right and so I didn't buy a whole lot there um, Samantha between the two of us we bought quite a bit but um, I didn't buy a whole lot. Um, I was very selective because I had already bought all of this other stuff in these other two videos. So, um, like I said, I'm buried under a death pile right now and it seems like that's my whole life. So, <laughs> uh, but you know, it was like during the pandemic, uh, when we were actually shut down and all of that, my business kept growing because <laughs> I had all of this stuff already in stock and I didn't have to worry about getting out to the thrift stores and so forth. I could just shop in my own garage and I can still do that. So um, thank you for joining me today. I hope everyone's doing well and they're happy and excited about life. I know I am and um, I'm enjoying doing this with my daughter and I'm looking forward to those auctions. I'm hoping that we'll be able to start those soon. Um, she's got four children, like I said, and so we have to kind of coordinate our time just a little bit. But with me being partially retired, that's something that can be done. So we're uh, both looking forward to that. And they will not be very professional, but they will be loads of fun. I'm quite sure and it doesn't really matter because you'll still get some good buys on some things um, join me next time for the next video it's another part of this one like I said I'll go over the estate video um, or the estate items uh, in that video and hopefully um, you will see something that is interesting or something that you've not seen before or maybe something that you haven't seen in years that you saw in your grandma's house or something like that thanks for joining me today hope everyone has a great day happy junkin